Randall Nautica is not a game and should be treated very seriously. It can be dangerous. Please do not copy us. You never know what you may find or who you may find. Look at that, it's a big cross. It's, it's a giant cross and it's bang in the center of it. That's very symmetrical. Yeah. Colder stones? Hold on. Wasn't there a mental asylum here? It's locked. Oh no, it's not. Please tell me we've got a Red Bull. Oh yes we do. Oh but even better, we got Picari Sweat. Okay, big shout out to my dad who managed to pick me up some Picari Sweat here in the UK from a Japanese Chinese store here in my hometown of Preston. It's been a long time since I've had Picari Sweat. If you know the Japanese series, you already know what this was. This was my lifeline. Hey Fudge, guess the GTR is going in for repair. Can you believe it? It's going in finally. It is, oh. And one other thing as well, before we get into this video, I have bought a FLIR camera. So, um, I actually spent a, a good amount on a professional grade thermal camera, but I got scammed on eBay. So, while I'm trying to get my money back, I bought this one for the time being. Now, we, the crew, have rented out a storage space, okay? We've got a storage locker. It's clean, it's white, it's tidy, it's empty. And what we're going to be doing is what I promise you. Remember Jack? Remember Jack going back to October? Jack, the most haunted doll in the UK that we bought. Well, I still have him. We're going to run some experiments. We're going to have thermal cameras running. We're going to have full spectrum cameras, GoPros, other cameras, uh, EV, EMF recorders, EVP recorders, Obulus. We're going to have so many different devices running at the same time for 24 hours to see if we can find any kind of fluctuations or if he's haunted. Also, we have decided we are going to take on the Russian sleep experiment. We are going to spend as much time as possible inside that unit, filming it 24 hours to see how long we can go without sleep. Now this is something that I don't recommend anyone doing. It can be dangerous. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to try and figure out a way we can stream it live as well. The whole thing live. I don't know if it's going to be on YouTube or it's going to be somewhere else. But we're going to do it. If you like the sound of that, let me know down below. I want to know your thoughts on it. Is it going to be dangerous? Is it going to be a good experiment? We'll see. Right, Fudge, you be a good girl, okay? You look after the place, yeah? And you be good to your sister and I'll bring you home a treat, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have just loaded it onto the car. Um, guys, if you don't remember what happened, I'll put a link to the video in the description. But, yeah. Hopefully we get all this sorted out very soon. Now we're going to load it up. Uh, me and my boy Tom are going to take it down to my mad scientist bodywork guy. Oh. We are actually approaching just about near where it happened. Literally right outside the barber shop. She pulled out of here. Yeah. I was coming this way. And she pulled straight out of here and just hit the side of me. I ended up here. Oh, bad times. So I'm taking it down to a guy called Adam. Now he has a company called Bodyworks Northwest. And apparently he's a mad scientist with bodywork because obviously we need it repairing as good as possible. We out too much filler. We don't want it to look a mess. So he is my guy. Uh, the carbon fiber front end hasn't arrived yet. Apparently there's delays in Japan because of COVID. All the containers have now gone up in price. So they're having to wait to, to completely fill the containers before they ship stuff over. So I may need to buy an OEM wing, which I found one 20 miles away, but it's 450 pound worth. Two carbon fiber wings is 650 pounds. So I don't really want to buy it, but if I have to, I have to buy the bullet. Watching bats on there, Mark.
honestly, I'm, lucky, I'm so lucky <laughs> for most of the part. Yeah. I'm lucky it didn't smash the headlight because the headlights are about £600 each. Is it? The indicator alone is £200 each. Well, when I, I found two wings for like, £200. Yeah. Well, the, 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 wing, the OEM wing in, in Lee is £450 for, for the, this facade, so. Yeah. Crazy. Right, so it's been a couple of days since we dropped the GTR off. Um, I wasn't going to do any vlogging though, we were just dropping it off. I'll be back there in a couple of days doing the vlogging and stuff. Just come to pick Bucky up because I am swapping an absolute monster. Um, I have a Golf Mark II GTI and I'm swapping it for a. I'll show you after. Oh, well, right, Bucky. I just vlog. I'm vlogging this experience of uh -huh. picking up this monster. <laughs> now, Bucky's here. Right, well, we're in the Golf now. This is the Golf Mark II GTI. Um, classic car, 3rd gear. 3rd gear and he's, he's letting off halfway through 3rd gear. Uh, well he comes back. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> well I will say everyone take... Everyone take your bets down below in the comments how long till he completely drives that car into the ground. A month, two months, a year, two years, let me know down below how long you think it'll take for him to drive this thing into the dirt. Right, so um, you just saw some footage then. I was that excited about the car and that amped and it scared us that much. We didn't film anything afterwards. Um, yeah, it's a worrying thing, but I'm gonna do some reaction videos that have been filming, um, and you've seen them on other people's channels, but the car is gonna be, it's up for sale. Uh, it's gonna be up for sale and swaps. Uh, so yeah, if anyone's interested, drop me over a message on Instagram. I'm trying to do this challenge where I'm swapping up. You've already seen uh, what we've been doing. So yeah, if you're interested in a forged turbo Honda Civic, let me know. But it's a random autica night out here tonight. We'll see you probably at the garage. Yeah, you know, we just drove past something. Oh, 
Yo, are you guys okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We just got this one put in the road now. Alright, okay. Yeah, no worries. Dude, every time we go random nodding, this I know, it's weird. weird, Dad. Did you film? Did you get the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. There was so much puke around her. She was either oh, right. drunk or overdosed. Okay. All right. She looked dead. Yeah. <laughs> she did. She slumped up. That is not right. Uh, All right, guys. Like I said, every single time. Every we go time. Out, every time. There's just something strange that happens. What the hell? I don't know, man. I cannot believe this. Boys, the fuel's gone up again. One pound 23, well, almost one pound 24 a litre for diesel. Yeah, for 30 British pounds, I got just under five gallons. What the hell is that about? Seriously. <laughs> That's six bucks a gallon? Six quid a gallon. What? That's, that equals to six quid a gallon. That's a lot more than six pound a gallon. Well, you, you There's got a gal five liters is a gallon. Yeah, so you right, and and it's one pound, it's one pound twenty, uh, one pound twenty four a liter, right? Mm -hmm. So one pound twenty four times five, right? So in in US, that's going to be a, just up, probably about eight dollar fifty cents. Well, so that's six, six, basically exactly six pounds and twenty five minus five or twenty. We're up. Off and up valve fuel. Just minus twenty five minus five uh, or twenty. <laughs> quick math. Quick math. Six pounds, twenty pounds. Right, so about eight and a half dollars. Hmm. Eight and a half dollars for a gallon. Eight and a half dollars for a gallon. Yeah, we're being robbed. <coughs> That's extortion. We're that. being robbed. Right, I'm reading again. What are you paying per gallon? I want to see this. I'm just gonna break my heart though. You know we're in the car park, you know what's going on. Major things are going down with the Randalowska. And this is not the same usual car park we're at. In fact, we are over towards Pendle Hill because my brother, the forgotten past, got some coordinates so it's led him here and we've literally, he's not even doing an intent. He's just going to, to the location to find out what's going on. So we're starting around here. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely make sure you check out my brother's channel, oh The my Forgotten God. Past. I finally, after so many years, in fact, I'll, I'll throw you a quick oh, flashback. You ready? This clip. You ready? <laughs> and we have a soon to be new channel. My brother, Explore Me Stoners, in the back. Yes, there you go. Oh. That was 2017. Two thousand seven. It's the same clip every time. I never started his channel because I just couldn't get around that clip. I don't really? Know. I couldn't get around it. <laughs> okay, so so for, so for for Andrew's benefit, it was a throwback from 2017 when we used to call road trips oh, wow. um, a one day away, <laughs> like trip. 40 miles away <laughs> in Cumbria. Way. Um, and he was in the back of the E30. This is when I was driving the E30, and I wanted him to start a channel called Explore My Stoners. They were the good days then, though. They were the good days. They it was simple. Days. They were simple but good. Anyway, and you already know, Proving Demons, both of them doing their own stuff on the channel that you're not going to see here. So definitely make sure you check out the full saga because you need to know the full story of the night. Absolutely. Anyway, we are going to do an intent tonight that is probably going to interest a lot of people um uh, i've had so many comments about this, this is going to be the main quest uh, it is a main <laughs> quest isn't it it is a main quest because think about it Yo. our our own our own um pins are our side quests Dude. but the one that we all do together is the main quest Rainonautica is kind of like a like they, there's theories that we live in a simulation and that's how it works i think i have an idea for what our pin later should be actually i'll talk to you about it in the car but i think okay. i have a good idea okay all right uh, okay Anyway, guys, with it being near Pendle Hill, you already know last time it was near Pendle Hill, crazy stuff happened. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen tonight as well. Let's go. Okay, so James has just finished his intention now. I'm really worried by what James found because it ties in through something that we found once before. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on what he found. 
if you have seen this video so you should definitely go and check it out it's now my single intention and then Andrew goes after me mm -hmm. my intention is going to be the keys again um, I get swamped in comments about keys so we're going to continue the key saga um, in fact I'm going to continue until we find out what those keys are now once we are able to go to stores again and stuff when they open up obviously at the moment we're on lockdown well we're not on lockdown shops are due to open up in about two weeks time but i can't just go to a key key maker or whatever a locksmith so until then once once we can do that we are going to go and ask him for his expert opinion on the keys but until then we're going to see if we can solve the riddle ourselves so yeah intention the keys the keys because we found two the keys the keys we also more information on the keys see the problem is is we have had people ask for the intention um what the keys unlock but i just don't think it, it'll work I, I personally don't think it'll work too, too vague yeah we, we need something more solid here so more clues is needed yeah more clues and i'm enjoying the mystery of it all you know if if we can get another five intentions out of the keys um it's kind of like um like a story almost we're piecing piecing the story together and like a puzzle we're piecing the pieces together well anyway let's bring up random nautica um and get our intention ready so it is going to be keys you ready keys the keys the keys the keys the keys right let's let's not do that anymore oh well, we got one We've got one, and it's a purple one. It's a void power oh, anomaly, right? Start our journey. Let's go. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just making sure it's not, not the police again. Yeah. It's weird. Andrew actually said this. It's weird. Every time we're at a location, we end up with the police uh, and they look at us and drive off. It's dead weird. Anyway, look at this. It's a crossroad. It's not, look at it like this. Well, it's a cross oh. in general, but it's definitely a cross road. Hold on a second. Look at that, it's a big cross. It's, it's a giant cross, and it's banging the center of it. That's very symmetrical. Yeah. What, what's that in the corner? I don't know. Bro, doesn't that look like one of those cell phone scanner things? Mm. Just, just the same. I don't know. We'll probably get there, it'll be something completely different, but it's a very odd location. Yeah. And... Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go to it then. Alright. Three minutes away. Alright, we are only one minute away. Approaching it pretty quick. Uh, what am I going to find? Hopefully, whatever the keys unlock. There could be something in the center of that cross. Could be like um, a hatch of some sort. I don't know, but we're soon gonna find out. That would be nice. It would be amazing, wouldn't it? What I do find interesting though is it appears to be in this middle of this cross, but the last time you did the key intention, we ended up at a church. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's a good point. So it's, it's pointing towards like maybe religion? It's something religious. Maybe there's like maybe the key is for something like some holy Holy Grail of some kind. Holy like, Grail. Like the Crusaders or something. I don't know. Secret. I don't know. It's weird Secret though. Church order. Oh, that would be cool. Right, we are approaching it right now. Right, so we just got to the location, but um, it looks abandoned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's there's uh, abandoned... F yeah, there's, there's a fence around it, but it's in construction site. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to still go try and get in, because obviously I need to see what's at this uh, spot. If it's anything to do with unlocking uh, whatever the keys unlock, uh, I'm not going to let this fence stop me. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think this fence Let's go. Stop do it. Anybody, to be honest with you, but we'll find out. Fine. It says it's the cemetery. It's a cemetery. That's what it says on the sign. Why is it a construction site? I have no idea, but right here it is called Calderstone Cemetery. Calderstones. Hold on. Wasn't there a mental asylum here? Called the Stones Metal. Yeah, Dad, Dad worked. Do you remember Dad worked here? Yeah, yeah, yeah he said that. Yeah. He said oh, that there was yeah. someone at his window that time. But hold on a second, guys. Check out the merch website. You already know. You Get your holographic stickers. 
I had to get that merch plug in, you already know. You already know. It's in memory of something as it is, in memory of World War One and World War Two heroes. So it's an old war. Of course. Well, this is creepy, right? This is actually creepy. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> James, what the hell? <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Well, I'm not joking. This is sort of place you would see a ghost <laughs> stood there looking at you. Oh. I, I don't know what's worse. I think it's because it's uh, an overgrown cemetery. Yeah. Hello, overgrown. You follow the winding path. I thought you weren't allowed to close cemeteries like that. It's like. Don't know. The only thing I worry about is if they're actually digging it out. Bro, I don't see any creeping. Oh my god, this is creepy. Guys, I am filming this on the opposite of the girl in the abandoned place. I still will not film games and print. But, uh, it looks like there could be something interesting here that's quite like creepy. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to well, be a road. set my uh, brightness up. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to stick to the road. Oh, so I can run faster. Bro, there's something in front of us. What? There's a building. Oh, you idiot. Don't... What is it with you two? <laughs> Holy shit, you're giving me a heart attack. <laughs> God's sake. I didn't see it. Andrew's panicking, saying there's something in front of us, and James is falling over at the back. Is that lights over there? There's a light in each window. Sure, it's the cemetery. That's what the sign said. Oh, there's a light in the distance too. Directly down. Find out Don't say that because that's where we're going. No, they're just reflected. Huh? They're just reflected. Making sure I lock my car. What? No, I saw the car drive by. No, I'm just making sure I locked my car. Oh, okay. Right, well, it seems safe to say we're not getting inside any of these. Yeah, well, I think there's going to be like empty things anyway, but this is this is pretty creepy, isn't it? So what, this used to be Yo, turn your lights out. Lights out. Everyone lights out. Oi. Oi. Is that someone over there? No. Right, it's not. No. no. I, think was, I think it was just the car, but you have to go one made me paranoid. It's it's like I'm creeped out here, really creeped out. It's got a horrible vibe, man. I mean, we pulled up to the place, but, and we've obviously fallen. There's somewhat reflecting yeah. down there. That's what I've been saying this whole time. There's something reflective on there. I want to know what it is. I, I don't know if I can get that on camera. You don't think that's your thing, do you? Mm, don't know, but it's it's definitely down there. I'm just looking at the map. Right. You can lead the way. Yeah, it's down that way. It's in the centre of a cross. It's not this bit here, because here the, the road kind of separates like a cross, but it's not. It's not the crossroads we need to stop at. Well, there's been a car or something down here not so long ago. Look, car tracks. I don't understand why it's not 
cemetery on that sign when like I don't see on graves? Yeah, I don't. But it's on the sign that said it was um, in memory of all the World War One and Two. It might just be a memorial oh. garden. It might not necessarily mean graves. Yeah. But then again, cemetery is a great. It means a graveyard. Right, we are approaching it really fast. It's coming right up. Yep, it said we're here now. So, what's that story? I don't that know. Both things are a good distance from us. Hold on, let me cover my light. Yeah, it's reflective. I guess. Yeah, it's reflective. Yeah, but what's that little thing to the left hand side of it? I don't know. That light. It's not reflective. Should we go check it out? Yeah. yeah come on. Hold on, hold on. My intention was keys. Check if there's a lock. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you guys keep a watch out, please. Freaked out. Uh, right, nothing here. Just, nothing just I don't mean turn up, turn your backs away from me. Just keep your, <laughs> <laughs> keep your eyes out. Around. All right. Do I really want to open this though? Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes out. Yeah, you look down that Bro, way, James. The key, the key thing has been like the safest of all of our intentions so far. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Oh, no, I'm just I wondered why you were pointing your camera, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> right, that that just shows we are we are we are we are kind of worried out here. But just you ready? I'm gonna open it for real. Yeah, you ready? It's locked. Oh no, it's not. Fill with keys. Are you joking me? No. What kind of keys? Fucking hell. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding me? There's some weird keys in there, right? I'll tell you what, whoever is put giving you these keys is really playing you. Yeah, yeah but it I went know. from two doors to ten million doors. <laughs> yeah, this is taking the piss now. Like, these can't surely be door keys or anything. What the hell am I meant to do with all these? What? What the heck is that? For? I have no idea. It's got some sort of cool old thing in it. The music box is cool though. Yeah, ah. Just hold on, see man. I don't know. Um not to self, be a very more specific when you ask for keys. There's a new reflecting thing over there. Yeah, what is that? I don't know, but... I, I can see it on my camera. I still think we need to check it out. Right, let's just leave that there for now. What, play it? Yeah, just leave it. Let's, let's see what this is, because that's weird. It is creepy, that playing in the background, though. Hold on, is it stopped? It's Hold on. No, it's, no, it's still going. The thing is going. Oh no, the cause the cause don't need to stop. I was just thinking it must someone must have given me that one. No, no, it's wound up, aren't they? And they when you open them it activates them. Oh it's a gate. Oh, that's all it is. What are those two things on the side? Well that post. It's for a garden. Oh! Oh that's that thing you was uh, pointing at, Andrew. What is it? You were saying it was a, a oh, mass. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. Uh in memory of Colin, all right, okay, this, oh, this. Correct, it is a graveyard. Yeah, it's a graveyard. I think it's more of um, ashes and stuff like that. Oh, what is this? What? What? Oh, God, from that angle, it looks like there's like an angel wing behind that. I'm just serious, if you go back, right here. Ow. You, sorry. You see how I could be fooled thinking there's like an angel wing there? All right, okay. Well, what's all right, what's all this? Why is it massive? We can walk oh, through here. We can walk through here. Just watching it's not water or anything. Yeah. What the hell are these blocks for? Oh, oh but this is a, this is a, this is a grave, so it, which it is. It is, it's a memorial. Yeah. Um, in residence of Calderstone. In memory of, yeah, the residence of Calderstone. Yeah, I bet it's the uh, old asylum. Coldest, I'm sure there's a Coldest, uh, Coldest Stone Asylum 
Guys, if you can, let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure there was an asylum called Coldy Stones. I'm sure I remember my dad telling me a story. He was working there doing asbestos removal and um, he would come into contact with a lot of them because they could freely walk around. I'm pretty sure it was the same place. Stevie pretty sure getting them comments. Yeah, well, pretty sure. Well, Stevie. Right, let's, um, let's go and pick up the music box and get back to the car and we'll talk about it there. Just watch, we're going to go back and the music box is going to be gone. I'll tell you what, that's when we leave, we get out of Cliverow and Wally. Look at this tree, this tree looks ancient. The camera can't even pick it up properly. Can you get good light on that tree? Not really. No, my battery's just going. I can do it. Let me switch to There we go, that's better. Yeah, it's an old tree. Very old tree. Let's go and find that. Uh, let's go and find that music box again. Random Nautica never ceases to amaze me, Andrew. No. Never. Lock, I don't know what I'm do with all these keys. It, honestly, it's like it's winding me up on purpose. You know what you should do? But no, where is it? It's here. Uh, it's here. Just make a key ring, dude. Put them all on a key ring and carry them around. Right, anyway, let's get back. I'll talk to everyone and back at the car. Yeah, it's just something about this place, like the, the driveway to it, it's creepy and then you got that there. Especially at night and seeing it overgrown adds to that Silent Hill vibe, you already know. Right, so we just got back to the car and I just, I'm, I've not even counted how many keys there is. Um, there's a good 50 keys probably. Um, Never ever probably gonna find out what these unlock, but very very unusual. Um, I should have been a lot more specific with my intention. There's a lot of rubbish on there. Let's see, there's a winder on the bottom. Hold on. I think it's. I might have, might have already broken. Yeah, it's the last song. Um, I think it's his last song. That was his last song. That's crazy, is it? It's some crazy timing. It's not even working anymore. Let me see if I, hold on, let me see if I can get this working, yeah? It's not working. Oh, there oh, we go. There. <laughs> I recognise that song. Yeah, I don't. That light's flashing again back. What light? It's oh no, it does it, it actually flashes a lot. Anyone know what the song is? I do recognise it though. I couldn't, I don't have a clue, man. So like, look at that! What the hell? Does that something like that unlock? Uh, I have no idea. But it's well writing on it. I mean, things like this is for like jewelry boxes. It even, you know, like that. That would probably be for. No. Yeah, that would probably be for like a small jewelry box. Maybe like a book with a lock on it. Chenny. Like. There's a lot of them say the same name. Look at this one. This one's got like some kind of Celtic design on it almost. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh. Hmm. No, 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 no. That that has a picture of three locks on it. See, one, two, and three. Oh. Yeah. And there's a stone in here as well. Stone? Yeah. 
Um, it's on its last legs, that's for sure. Oh, it's that. Bro, if you can't get it to stop, it's going to be a very interesting drive. There we go. Okay. Uh, James, could you place that in the back for me? Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely be more specific next time. I shouldn't have said it like I did. I said um, my intention is the keys. And then we end up with a box full of keys. Um, next one, I promise you, will be so much more specific. I will hold the keys in question. I will say my intention are these keys. I think that's probably going to be better. These keys. These keys holding them. These keys. Um, anyway. Cool place. That yeah, cool it was place. a good walk anyway. That was a cool place. Especially being abandoned as well. Um, kind of fits in with the whole life, in fact. Mm. Abandoned, keys, you already know abandoned I mean, keys, keys are life. The keys <laughs> could be metaphorical in a weird way, like unlocking something within yourself. What, 50 keys? How many things do I need <laughs> to unlock? This isn't a game of Skyrim, bro. Hey <laughs> guys, uh, you'll next see us after Andrew's intention, uh, which we'll be doing our full intention. Uh, the, I don't know if I told you what it is yet, but it's... Should we tell him? Make him wait. Well, it's it's 30 worth, seconds. It's You're gonna wait 30 wait. seconds. I'll see you soon. It's not blank. What's the plate? Uh, it doesn't say anything. So one pound short. Sorry, what? One pound short. One pound. One pound short. Alright, okay. Oh, we're going to play. Right, so it's one night by then. So, yeah, two, two, two pounds, yeah. yeah. It's difficult when they don't put the price tags on, but he said uh, one pound short, so I'm guessing he means 195. It's 195 for a wrap. For a wrap? I'll give yeah. it for free now. What? Go on then, go on. No? Spit some lyrics. No. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just eat the uh, snacks I bought last time that I left in the car. Oh, you mean the things that have been smelling in the car? Do you think that's Luke? Yeah. Could yeah, be, you know. Like well, it, it smells, yeah, it smells like spicy bubble gum in the car. It's him. What if I was in the car? He's, I don't know, he's left stuff in the door pocket. Jalapeno stuff. Jalapenos. No wonder he's staying, that's exactly what it is then. Thanks, Andrew. Anything. Oh. Right, okay, so we've all done our individual intentions. Uh, just having a quick pit stop. It gets hungry out here making random Oscar videos. You already know pepperoni time. So uh, we're just gonna have a quick uh, food break, drink break, and pull up the main intent. I just smacked my wing. I said that. Yep, yeah, you got to buff that out. I knew it! What is it? That's what smells? I knew it. Andrew is the culprit. Yeah, let's fast forward. Dover. Let's get back to work, boys. So the time has come where we do our intentions the same one together. Now, remember earlier when I said I had an idea, right? Because you were bringing up simulations and how Randonautica could possibly prove that we're living in simulation. Well, look at this. One hour ago on my channel, Intent Glitch in the Matrix. And you also happened to pull one up. And this is on Dan's. I need, I need to sign some stuff. How about the intent as the Matrix? Find out how deep the rabbit hole goes. Now I don't know. Is that on my video. That's yeah. on your yeah, video. Yeah, I get that all the time. Yeah, I do too. Now I don't know if we should do the word Matrix, but I think simulation is more. Well, simulation is the same as the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. So I think simulation might give us a better 
Because if we have Matrix, we could end up with a Matrix DVD. True. Or, or the Matrix game for the Xbox. Matrix Who remembers that? The original? Oh, Who remembers wow. that? The, the original Xbox? I do. I do. Yeah. Great game. Right. But, yeah, simulation. Okay, so simulation. that is going to be our intent that you guys have been leaving under our videos. Now, remember, for the next video, leave your ideas for intents down below so we can do them for you. Can you bring up that comment on mine? I just want to see that again. Yeah, sorry guys, we get these comments a lot. Um, we're trying to show off quite a few comments now. Um, I get this simulation or matrix comment at least five times a day on my random Nautica videos. Yeah. But there you go, who, who said that? Jonathan. Jonathan, there we go, Jonathan. Well, Jonathan, we are using your uh, your suggestion right now. I'm gonna like it. I'm well. gonna give a shout out to Michelle Weir. Reply, reply back to well. it, James. Reply back to it right now and just say, we are we are currently filming a random Nautica episode while filming your comment and using it as our intention. So if that doesn't give you inspiration to comment down below an intention, oh uh, well, it's, it's coming. It's coming back to Jonathan. Right there, you go, Jonathan. Forgotten past. Ready? Yeah, I'm simulation. ready. Right, ready. Simulation. simulation. Let's go. Simulation. 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 The garage. Power. The guy. The garage is locking. Like, what the hell's going on? Okay. Why are these guys chanting? We outside? have one. What? what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it's just not really. Okay. Right. What? It's taking us to what looks like it's that a plague, a park. A yeah. It's a play area. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright everyone. Right, so we got it. Six minutes away. Uh, 3.4 miles. Let's see. <laughs> 2 30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, by the way guys, it is uh, you see the 2 30 in the morning and again the 2 2 21. It's never an early night, I promise you, never an early night. And the crazy thing is I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna edit this video, ready for when it goes out and probably Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow goes oh. out. Don't you want to wait Sunday? Yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow. Sunday. It's Saturday. Saturday I don't now. even know. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> now it's Saturday. No, now it's Saturday. Yeah. Because it's 2 a.m. Uh, so you've got all of Saturday to edit. I have to edit today. Yeah. Okay, Sorry, bro. No, no, it's but, okay. It's my job. But it's, it's all good because Sunday comes. Sunday, is, you. 40 hours you've got about to upload the video, so we're True. all good. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought it was. No. no. Right, let's go and do this simulation. Did you know there is many theories that say if you unravel the Matrix, if you so kind of open up Pandora's box, there's no turning back. You can basically split the dimension in half. You can unravel the universe. This is what I've heard. If you open Pandora, you mean? Yeah, I mean, actually, start messing with all other dimensions. Well, you think about it. If you, if we live in a simulation, yeah, we, we and you are basically hacking the simulation and figuring it out, you will break. You will wake up. You will break the Matrix, similar to on the film The Matrix, and then that's when you know Pandora's box gets opened, cracks and. Reality start appearing, glitches. You start noticing things that are normally there, but they're not there anymore because it was a program. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Like, okay, so say dimensions are layers. I know that they say that with time travel, if you were to bump into yourself, you would destroy all time. That, that's uh, another well, thing. Well, and time travel also kind of counts as like you know layers of. Uh, layers of timelines, isn't it? Yeah. So there's multiple worlds, multiple outcomes. Uh, and obviously if time travel existed, funny enough, that would be proof that there are multiple timelines out there, that they split off at every decision they make. Well, this is getting deep. It's quantum, quantum. I don't think I was ready for this conversation yeah. at but half is, past two in the morning. It is quantum mechanics, which Randonautica is based off of. Yeah, right? it's true. So technically, Maybe, maybe we are changing the world each time we hit that generate button. Like, well, I just don't know. Well, we're, we're, we're creating another timeline, that's for sure, because every time we press that button, is it is it random? Could it could it give you a different pin a second later, a second before? 
that specific setting, second you press that button, is that a guaranteed spot that you would get every time you press it? Or is it just specific to that second? This conversation could get very deep, bro. Okay, the last thing to leave us with, no, uh, yeah, to end this note. What are the actual possibilities we could break the universe? I don't even want to think about it. Wait, was Rainonautica, Rainonautica happened right before what's happening in the world at the moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I do know that. Rainonautica happened like one month before, before, not even, just like, probably. No, it was about one month before the first lockdown. Yeah. What if people playing Rainonautica set the world into a... Nah, I'm sorry guys, but this conversation is getting far too deep. Right, let's just get to our location. We're, we're two minutes away. Come on, let's... Let's save that one for another time. All right, we're just parking up. Um, the location is right over there. It's over there. I think we're best parking here because uh, we're parking outside people's houses. Yeah, there's loads of doors slamming, isn't it? <laughs> Ten to three in the morning, people yeah. think their houses are getting raided. Yeah, true. Right. Uh, All right. Hold on. Let me change this. Let me look at it. Right. The pin is exactly looking on that, right? So okay. let me go back from this. Let me go back from it. And change it to walking. And I'm going to put the pin on it there. And start. And have it walking, yeah. It still wants you to walk around. It's yeah, it does, yeah. But I'm sure there's a gimbal. There's a gimbal. There. there is a gimbal. That, that's a gimbal, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's just across the road, so let's take it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go do this. You should probably get the lead the way since you have the pin. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you got a light. I've not got my light with me. No light. Uh, okay, I've not got my light. So I've got a phone light, but... Yeah, down here. It's getting cold. Yeah. Temperature's just dropped. Yeah, it is. Someone's burning logs, it smells nice. It reminds me of that. Centre Parks. Park. Yeah, it does. We go to Centre Parks nearly every year um, in November, December for Christmas. Right, let's go. There's someone's burning log fire. Oh, it's a pub. Right, get your lights on, boys, so I can see. The park's quite nice. Alright, where's the pin? Um, the straight ahead. Oh, there's something on that table there. That's it. That's the pin. Is that the pin? Bang on. Bang. Literally, bang on the pin. It's a. Oh, it's one of them dolls. Um, dolls. What? Nesting dolls. Uh, the Russian doll. Yeah. A babushka. A babushka doll. A babushka. A babushka. A babushka. A babushka. It's the old ladies that sit the side of the road on chairs. What's that got to do with the Matrix uh, and well, uh, simulation? Well, a hundred bucks says you could probably open it. Right. I'll tell you what, then. Um, do you want to grab my camera? All right, Dan, you do the honors. Right. Look how nicely, look how nice that looks. Like super well nice painted. Oh, there is. It's legit.
How many are inside these? I don't know, man. You you could, you How many is there? You could be it's going. Got a coin. Days. What the hell? Oh my. How is. What's that? What's that? I know exactly what it is. Yeah. No. It's a red and a blue pill. It doesn't take a uh, genius. To... What happens in the Matrix? Red and blue pill. You have the choice to wake up or go back to sleep. And it's in all of this. A... Come on, let's actually think That's about one, this. Two, right, three, red and a blue four, pill five, six, inside seven, the Russian eight, dolls. Nine. Simulation. Simulations, Matrix. Matrix. I mean, I did say to you, if you said Matrix, you end up finding a Matrix DVD. This is. Wake up, take the pill and wake up, or go back to your normal world. Hidden in a Russian d nesting doll, so layers. Think about that. There's so many, look at all these layers, like a tree ring. Right, should we put it back together and get to the car? Cause it is cold. It's, it's really cold. It's really easy. Yeah, go on then. It's so open I, as I well. I don't even know how to put this back together. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, here, here. Hold on. Uh, did you put the... I put the wrong piece you in. put the wrong piece in. Yeah, it was the same colour, but the wrong piece. Right. Wait, should we keep the... Oh, that... Keep the pills out. Should we? Yeah, probably. All right, here you go, you hold them. <laughs> Try watching the Chuckle Brothers. I just don't... I've never used one of these before. This is real. Bro! Well, what if the Matrix is real? And this was them just, like, offering us the chance to escape. I don't know. That's really weird. Like I said, well too early in the morning to be talking about them conversations. We only gave enough for one person to wake up, if that is the case. But would you want to wake up? Uh, well, if, it, if it was like the movie, probably uh, not. No. I'm quite happy here, to be honest with you. I'd like answers, yeah, but to wake up, that's a that's a tall order. Alright. Do you want to, uh, yeah, do you want to, okay, I'll just hold this babushka. <laughs> well, I, I do, I do kind of, I do kind of like um, babushkas. I mean, I saw a lot of them when I was in Romania. A lot of them. And they'd sit by the side of the road and normally give me kind of evils as I drove past in my loud Aldi. Well, which they definitely wasn't used to seeing. <laughs> well, then we're going to have to fight out because to keep that one. Well, you can have it, to be honest. I'd, well, unless James wants it, I'd, I'm not. I'll i uh, I'll stay away from creepy objects like this. Especially something that, that isn't there a, like a legend that you use these to capture souls? I mean, you've seen the Disney film Sorcerer's Apprentice, have you? Yeah. Where they uh, they keep Morgana inside one of these, and they're said to keep the souls of those they want captured. I don't know. We could just open Pandora. Wait a minute, I was talking about opening Pandora's box as well, and we've just opened this. You did. It's a bit linked, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I'm cutting off and just going back to the car. Wait, don't you guys want to like actually yeah. talk about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, just I'm just, just starting the car, it's so cold. Okay. <sighs> right, okay. Let's turn the lights on. There has to be a correlation with layers, the red and blue pill, and our intention was. I can't even remember my, my brain is. Simulation. 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 It's almost like, you notice, you notice how these were right in the very dead center of it, right? Yeah. It's almost like they're trying to tell us that we are in the very, we, we are the smallest piece in this puzzle. And it's like, we're, we're the ones enshrouded in, in these layers of fabric of... History. Or, it's basically a way of saying you have to unravel the universe itself. Yeah. Unravel the matrix to get to its secrets. So it's a strange one, it's definitely got the brain thinking, but um, who's going to take the tablet? No. <laughs> no. I am not taking no, anything. Even taking if it anything. legitimately could wake you up, right? I've seen that movie, I've seen all of them. I am, uh uh. Yeah, I'm quite that, happy with yeah. my life, to be honest. Because um, think about it, your family wouldn't exist. No, every, everything would be gone. Yeah, no. 
that's a nice looking, that's a hell of a nice looking doll. Yeah, no, it's so I mean, look at that, it's so like detailed, that. yeah. So detailed. Let me just line it up. No, it's really, really well done. I wonder if it actually is Russian then. How many was there? Like ten. You opened nine. Well, there's nine, okay. Yeah, you opened nine. Nine. Any significance with the number nine? Nine layers? Nine. nine. For some reason, I'm just saying layers. layers with it. Now, if it had been twelve, I could have worked with that, but nine's a bit. Why twelve? It's got number two in it. <laughs> How many levels of hell are there? Eight. The eight levels of hell. Well, we we actually live in a level of hell, um, according to the Bible. Oh no, sorry, no. We live in the first level of heaven. I think it is. That's yes. right. I'm going to go on just to make sure. Nine. nine circle. Oh, nine circles, dude. These, you saw this. Each one you open is a circle. Nine circles. Each one you open is literally a circle. I don't want to break this. Bear with me. Each one, as you can see. It's a circle. And then in the very center was the red and blue pill. I mean, I'd, I don't know if we're going too deep into this, but it's weird, yeah. yeah. Nine levels to hell and there's nine nine circles. Nine circles, you can see that. Look at that. Um, how many levels to hell? Nine circles. Nine circles there. Um, kind of weird, yeah. Definitely weird. Mm. Is it? Connected? I don't know. We could just be grasping the straws here. Yeah. We could be doing like them fake mediums do cold reading. That we much got stuff's one thing. On tonight, though. I know, but the problem is it's very easy to link yeah, things but there's together, so especially many... when your mind's going. That's what I mean. There's so many things that seem to be a coincidence. Yeah, there's a lot of coincidences. Or not, or not a coincidence. You know what I mean? It's, it's like there's so many things that have happened that don't seem like coincidences. Like they were. Properly planned by like a madman. Very weird. Nine nine circles of hell. Nine, nine circles, circles of babushka. Like and the babushka. Nine circles of babushka. Um, have you ever met a babushka? Of course I have. Yeah. yeah. A real one. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But at this Romanian restaurant, and um, she was trying to speak to me and Josh, mm. and it was in Romania and she had no clue of English like she didn't know a single word and we didn't know a word and it just got to the point where we were laughing at each other yeah Babushkas are mostly known in like Eastern Europe so like, obviously you've been to Romania I've gone to Ukraine and Croatia like yeah it's quite, they're quite common there yeah oh no they're common they're very common they're everywhere yeah. they're just, honestly there was Babushkas everywhere just sat at the side of the road and just seemed to just all do the same thing just sit there at the side of the road yeah what they did. Well, I've never met a babushka. If you have one a babushka, day, James. One day I'm hoping Love I'm your put it on the bucket list. One day I want to meet a babushka. Okay, well, one, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll get. Let's everyone go over and subscribe to my brother's channel, The Forgotten Past. If you, yeah, if you didn't know, this is my brother. This is my brother, The Forgotten Past. Go over and subscribe to him and make his dream a reality of meeting a babushka. Yeah. I want to be a right. Well, my hand's getting really tired holding my camera like this, so. Right, Do you want right. To go home? Uh, I yeah, go let's, home. let's go I'm home. Ready to go home. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm probably going to catch you at home. Yeah, when I'll, we're getting out of the I'll car. talk to you guys in just a minute. Oh, we are back. Definitely been a crazy one tonight. Back at the house, back at the Honda where we basically started the video. Now, I do have a bunch of videos coming out about the Honda, um, which will be incorporated in the vlogs and random North Korean, whatever else. We might even go play random North Korean this thing, even though it's a bit loud. Um, yeah, so don't forget, this is gonna, this is up for sale or swaps. Uh, information will be in the description. Check out my Instagram for more pictures and videos. Uh, some of the fun we've been having in it as well, you already know. So you let me test drive it. Oh, uh, I don't know, I think Andrew Let's kill himself right in this. Oh, yeah, can you imagine that? Bang, 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 pop, pop, pop. <laughs> um, yeah, the problem is, is cause it's, because it's um, it's it's only a 1.6, but it's producing uh, 400 plus brake horsepower, but it's got a side exit exhaust out the bumper there, but it's also got what's called a screamer pipe that comes out the bonnet. So you've got flames popping out of that side, you've got flames coming out this way, like pop, pop, bang, bang. 
pretty dope. Yeah, no, it's good fun. It's got tire power interior and stuff, and it's stripped out. It's fully race ready. All the wishbones and everything's been replaced with race ones. Uh, hard race, I think it is. But anyway, guys, enough of the car talk. You already know. Go over to Instagram.com. Just go straight onto Instagram. Type in Exploring Fires. I pop straight up. You already know. Link is in the description. Definitely check out Proven Demons for his content that you didn't see. Check out my brother's channel. Go over and support my brother, The Forgotten Past. Definitely needs your support at the moment. Being a new channel, uh, you know, it's always daunting being on YouTube, especially when he's not used to it. So go over and show him some support. You already know.